this asteroid trajectory uh, question is a, a common question, and uh, it comes from uh, one particular patient, but it's a question that I receive uh, from, from many patients. The, the questioner asks uh, this week, uh, should I get special genetic testing to help pick the best treatment for me? And there is so much in the news about genetic sequence analysis and how this can be predictive and prognostic and help uh, guide the therapy that many patients feel like this is something they should uh, go into their doctor and get performed right away. Unfortunately, uh, the truth is that although there are many trials and studies, looking at the impact of different uh, sequence testing results upon the outcomes of various therapies, it's not to the point where this is a standard test that we would recommend. In the studies, we look at the correlations between the different sequences and the impact of different therapies, but those correlations are not good enough yet for us to say that one treatment would definitely be preferred versus another. Now we do still rely on the FISH testing, which is the fluorescent testing uh, to pick out uh, standard, intermediate, and high-risk myeloma, looking for things like the 414 translocation, the 17P minus, uh, some of the things that you may have heard of. And so we do use FISH testing information to help make some choices. And we do have some early information, for example, that the translocation 1114 in, is one in which a new treatment called venetoclax can work quite well. Uh, in another situation with the translocation 414, uh, we've known for several years that the use of proteasome inhibitors such as Velcade, Kyprolis, and Ixazomib, those could work particularly well. And so the bottom line is that we have every reason to think that as we move forward and we understand uh, the genetic sequencing uh, and we understand the impact of the different types of drugs, we will be able to carefully select uh, particular therapies for what we know will be several distinct subtypes of myeloma, multiple myelomas. Uh, there are indeed multiple different subtypes. But for now, we still broadly use the same treatment across the boards so for example, in a newly diagnosed patient, we would use Velcade, Revlimid, and Dex uh, with or without a stem cell transplant, and this does work well for the vast majority of patients. And so there will be a shift over time to consider tweaking or changing that standard recipe to include options based upon a particular genetic uh, subtype. But we're not quite there yet, But uh, hopefully in the next uh, few years, we will be able to fine tune in that fashion and hopefully be able to offer better outcomes uh, as a result of this fine tuning.